last time I talked to the man. Cries of desperate frustration. That's my day. Go and get my phone, bro. As Marty Nunez pleads for emergency crews to reach his father, trapped for a second day in the top floor of his deluged home. Last thing I heard from him is he couldn't keep his eyes open. He couldn't go no more. Said he got to go to sleep. That day. he's hoping they got horns. Y'all need to. A few hours later, his father was found along with this homeowner who wouldn't leave without his favorite shotgun. They were the last to escape the floodwaters in Plaquemines Parish, a county just south of New Orleans. Volunteers in their own boats found many of the stranded before the professional search crews could arrive. Jesse Schaefer and his father rescued about 150 people, including one family of five. They were on a, a trailer. They had about a foot left of leeway before they'd go under. It was a family of five, a couple, and three children, varying from three to six years old. So they were in desperate need of rescue. Seven years ago, while Hurricane Katrina caused 1,800 deaths across Louisiana and Mississippi, this area stayed above water. But this week, Hurricane Isaac dumped so much rain here that combined with a storm surge from the Gulf of Mexico, the levees were overwhelmed. This is just one neighborhood along a 29-kilometer stretch of the levee, which has been inundated. The plans are now to go ahead and punch a hole in the levee, which will accelerate the drainage. But even after that happens, it could take an estimated 15 days until the water levels go down enough so that people can come in and retrieve whatever belongings are retrievable. Come on, boy. Not all those rescued were human. A short while after this dog was pulled from the water, she was reunited with her owner. He escaped in time, but left behind nearly all he owns, and he doesn't know if he'll return. I've been living here 34 years, but, you know, I, I, I don't know. I ain't made up my mind yet. I'm 65 years old. I ain't going to keep fighting this. It's the same decision facing many others, whether to rebuild in a beautiful but treacherous bayou or move to higher ground for good. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana.